When I was really young, I've sort of developed sounds in my head that would be always involving a piano. It has to have elements of growing up in New Zealand somehow and the impact of culture and the nature and music of the time and the family. Having this in my mind and not being able to put that straight away has made me on some sort of journey. We're trying to find a balance between the traditional sort of acoustic thing that can be very free and the electronic stuff which can have amazing sonic potential. And so it is really based on being able to communicate, to look at each other and be reactive to one another. This project came about from a record I produced for Aaron last summer in Paris. Aaron had composed the rough piano pieces and then we did some demo recordings and I tried out a few production ideas which involved sequencing some things, playing some things. A studio process that was very separate, it wasn't like a band performing in the studio. Now what we're trying to do is recreate the studio element live on stage a bit. This is the first time I've actually worked with an electronic-based instrument. I really like the places that the music can be taken and the different sounds and textures. Ah. Everything seems to be flowing quite easily. I'm taking a lot of cues from Lee Scratch Perry, who he had a philosophy about that you have to make the studio live and intelligent, like an instrument almost. And so this is what we're trying to do on the stage, take this studio production techniques and apply them in a really live context. There's no click track in the set. The Tempest drum machine is the master clock. I'm changing the BPM constantly. So if Aaron's slowing down in a section, I'll be slowing down with him and live is slaved to this tempest. We're aiming to have complete freedom and having a stop and start and a tap tempo is really free for us at the moment. We can go any direction we want. Oh, nice. Nice. Is that the one you think? You can. Cool, Oslo. We went past Oslo. Oslo. You oh. nutter. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't have to be electronic stuff just placed on top of jazz piano. It doesn't have to be piano just placed on top of electronics. They can have a meaningful conversation and a meaningful relationship through being able to sample and have a little bit of push and pull here and there in the set. The way we've done that is using granulator in live and being able to sample whatever Aaron's playing on the piano and then I'm able to manipulate that, change the key, change the sound of it, shoot it back to him and he's able to react to that and then it kind of goes a little bit back and forth. We've remapped the user button on push, so instead of switching into user mode now, it just captures the last four seconds of what's coming through the mics. I'm able to use push to control the parameters of the granulator, and I'm also able to switch into session mode and record loops from the percussionist as well. And so that means I really never need to look at the computer at all. I can just use my ears and actually focus on looking at the other musicians in the set and being able to have a connection that way rather than being locked to a screen at all.
having this electronic element brings a certain amount of confidence to what I'm pushing because of a, a sound happening from the PA and on stage and all of a sudden there's this huge bed. I can really stretch out, I can play all the things that might annoy other acoustic instruments in a band. You know, like keyboards and guitars, there's always a little bit of a rivalry or someone playing out of their part, they think it should be guitar, it should be piano, but we have, we've, I've managed to get rid of all of this, <laughs> all of it, which is amazing. I've always got the same goal in mind that I want to get to musically and I might be able to create it just on piano one day or it might be an orchestra but to be in the position right now with Roddy and Sam having these sounds and building an orchestra sound, a big sound from three players on stage is already close to what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. 